didn't expect this to take the turn to this, but I'm glad that it did. Yeah. And today we're talking about a pair of shoes that I've had for two years. Two years? That was two years ago. As soon as we changed our house setup, like a shoe rack, we have a massive, massive shoe rack yeah, now. Yeah, we've actually put three or four shoe racks together. My husband made the shoe rack extra tall because Matt's over six foot. Yeah. So he's got his shoes in the air. Well, the shoes were taller than me. And as I'm looking up at the shoes, I look at the heel. Oh, so that's I'm, why you found these numbers. I'm looking. What are these numbers on the back of your shoe? I am looking up instead of down, and there's. It this... says 33, 56, 35, N for North. Yep, yep. And 117, 13, 42, and W. West. West. Where do you think? Northwest. That so leads that's us. northwest of W way this way. That way, to my left. As for your current location. Alright. Yeah, you... but what if I face the other way? No, no, those are GPS coordinates. Yeah, but uh, these are these are fixed numbers. No, it's not a compass. It's, <laughs> <laughs> wherever you point the shoe, the numbers don't change. Well, they should be. <laughs> well, actually, that's a good idea. Why compass. would you have compass-like numbers on something that doesn't act like a compass? Do you want to see? Okay. So I tell you what, I did out of curiosity have to type them in. Now, where do you think they're going to lead to? Why would they? Where would they lead? What I. My first thought was it was New Balance's headquarters because it's oh, a New oh, Balance shoe. Oh, I want to guess. It's, it's, like, it's not going to be where Kawhi lives. And yeah, you know, you were absolutely correct on your first instinct. It's where he used to live. Who used to live? Kawhi. But th this is where he used to live when he was a kid. And yeah, you know, you were absolutely correct on your first instinct. This is where he lived or where he grew up. It's the Moreno Valley. Where is this? I had to pull back. Like what city? It's from LA. But I never heard of this place. This so as cool. I pulled out, I saw Anaheim, and I knew oh. that's Disney. And... Oh, okay. So it is. It's, uh, it's Los Angeles. It's yeah. California. Yeah. Oh, he's quite inland. Yeah, he's in the suburbs. Oh, no wonder he's so chill. Yeah, place though. Wow. wow. Looks great. It does look very similar to Australia in some Wow. Summers. What a hidden little gem. That's... Uh, it says the heel also features an M which I didn't yeah, notice. Yes, I, I saw them in. And the latitude and longitude coordinates that locate the center of Moreno Valley is hometown. The most interesting thing is, I actually got Ooh, distracted. Is this... That's a sizzler. What do you mean? That, isn't that Australian? It's a sizzler American. Yeah. <gasps> He's still got a sizzler they in his still foot. have a sizzler? <laughs> Our sizzlers are gone, I man. Know. You know what? Because he lived next door to sizzler. He tried to do every sizzler in the country. We started a long time ago, this obsession about doing them all. I was like, Hey, why? I don't care where it's from. I couldn't believe there was a sizzler. But it basically, yeah. we're interested in the sizzler. What? Well, I didn't expect this to take the turn to the sizzler. No. But I'm glad that it did. Yeah. Oh, wow. Has anybody been to the sizzler? Is the, is the cheese bread good? I don't know, but we got to make cheese bread well, now. We, we actually know the, the hidden secret. Yes. It's very, very simple. If we get enough likes, we might have to... I was about uh, to say, if we get, we get 2,000 subscribers, we'll send out the, the cheese bread secret. All right, we'll give out the secret. You cracked it years ago.